Hello guys, and welcome back. We were last left off. The natives lost 421 men in the Battle of the Spikes, and I lost 166 men. So, uh, off to go. I will just wait for the turns to end here. Oh, and, uh, Columbia's actually coming out towards me. So, this'll be fun. I've got a lot more cannons, I've got a lot more infantry, and I've actually got some uh, cavalry here. So we'll see how this turns out. It's at least a bit more in my favor. So I will see you when we fight Columbia here. Uh, see you then. God damn, guys! Can you see anything? My god! Oh, and I haven't formed up these troops, uh, enough. You too. Not all of you. Form up this line. Yeah, so... The Battle of Friggin' Trenched Coats here... Where... Wow, I have not seen rain this bad before. And the weather does affect how accurate or how well your troops perform. Because, uh, it wets through gunpowder, making... Uh, misfires happen more often. But, uh, I don't know if that'll be more of a hindrance for them or me. I don't know how badly it affects cannons, either. But it's, uh, not good for any side. Anyway, we'll have the cannons hitting uh, the walls here, if they can. Like so. I've got my houndsers behind, just in case. I think they can fire over, so... Here's hoping. Yeah, let's just have him hit in this bin here. Just as sort of a test. So, what's the verdict? Okay, good, it does go over. I can never trust uh, the cannon, so... Yeah, we're just gonna destroy that for the lulls. And, uh... Here comes out... The soaking wet troops... Of the Colombians. Maybe this was a strategy. He was like... It's raining! This is our best chance! Again, I don't know how badly it affects, uh, cannons. But I have got... Four, uh, units of Dragoons here, so... I might be able to use their swords to my advantage. Like here, Frontiersmen. Uh, my cavalry might be able to just absolutely destroy these guys. And then they got the cans, which will be uh, taken out by these. Okay, we. There's also a cliff here, meaning that they can't actually uh, really flank me unless they go right behind me. Anyway, if you can start hitting uh, the men here. Okay, what have we got? Uh, the howitzers cannot hit them yet. But when they can, I want you to focus fire on there. With explosive shells, if you can. These cannons will destroy people. They will. Just gotta speed up a bit. Yeah, there's a horse unit coming this way. And he's almost in range of all of them. There. Okay, all horsemen. Uh, let's kill... The light, uh... Oh, this, these are the people, like, damaged from, uh... Their engagement with my other army. We've got more cannons this time, by the way! Oh, wow! Did we do that? Did we- Oh my god, we nearly destroyed half the men here! Oh god, the Battle of Drenched Coats, and that's, that's the official title. This may actually be a 
more of an advantage for me because it doesn't seem to affect cannons. And now the Russian towards my lines. We've got to hold them here. This is the best chance we've got. Also, uh, use canister shot now. If you can hit them here, you might be able to get quite a few. Oh yeah! <laughs> this works. Okay, uh, let's... These guys, how are they doing? They have not taken down them yet. I'll move them back. Actually, I want to pause for a minute. I know you can barely see anything, guys, and I'm sorry. Because I can barely see anything, too. I just want to shift around the focus of my cannons because there's uh, the main army coming out the gates. Okay, cancer shot is not an option here. So just hit them normally. Over on the right flank, we seem to be doing much better. Because they got support for the, uh, from the Hounsers, so... I want to move their, uh, some of their support over here. In fact, I want to move all their support over here, because they're quite close to my lines now. But we have taken down a guard unit! That is a major blow! Anyway, keep uh, trying to hit them. This battle will either be remembered as a great victory and a great use of uh, cannons, or a major defeat. We'll see. Well, maybe the uh, maybe it does affect him. I don't know, but we've hit, done some pretty uh, definite damage. I don't know what definite damage means, but I will use it. I will take that uh, term. Where are you? Oh, you're spread out way over there for some reason. Uh, go kill the citizens. And we're about to engage on this line. Okay, we've broken another unit. Another... Uh, oh no, that's just line. Turn the cannons round, and they hit my cannons. Great. Uh, we want to try and engage them here now. Go again, and turn off guard mode. Okay, also, cancer shot. We need this now. Go! Turn it that way. And if we can actually just keep hitting the citizens here. We can break their left flank by using horsemen. Also, how well is this gonna work this close? I... I don't wanna find out. Stop. Just, no. No. No more firing. And turn that round. Because they're not actually engaged yet. They're just sort of in front of them. No, but now we're engaged. Great. Well, the cancer shot was good while it lasted, I have to say. I think we're beating them here. Yeah. And over here, uh... I mean, we're killing them. Again, the uh, wet gunpowder does hinder all parties here. That's some guards there. Okay, I want uh, to bring in more men here. So get off guard mode, all of you. Just try and uh, kill what you can. The cavalry is a big advantage here. Although it is, it's getting uh, kind of tense uh, who's going to actually prevail overall. They do still have the better quality men, and they have taken out my cannons. Well, actually, no, they haven't taken out my cannons, they're still in operation. It's just whether they're going to stick around or not. Nope, uh, I think they're going to waver soon. Well, they're wavering now, but... It'll probably disappear soon. And we have got uh, the Colombian guards 
locked in between uh, forces and my infantry. So if they live, then that's their general, isn't it? That's their friggin' general! Get him! You better not have heard me that time. Uh, you know what, we'll keep two units here because I don't need all four units trying to hunt him down. But we need to kill him, come on. Okay, oh, come on, we haven't beat them yet. They're very tired. How many men have we lost? I don't know, not that many, I want to say. It's hard to tell. And over here, it's hard to tell as well. No, no, keep killing him. Don't, don't follow that order, go. If we kill the general here, then we have a distinct advantage. Okay, how's the rest of the world doing here? The center is dying, quite frankly. And we have barely taken out any of their men. Most of my men is, like, over here. In what appears to be a losing fight, uh... Are you on guard mode? Just you? No. Really? They haven't broken yet. 23 men and their confidence from being attacked from all sides and for some reason my dragoons are wavering against the general. They have broken against the general. So... Oh no, there was also uh... What is this? They was free horses. Not good enough guys, not good enough. Okay, we need to start firing the cannons again. That is... Just a, yes, we need to do that. Okay, but we broke the guard army here. So we need to sort of reform the line. Also, break you off, come down here. And kill their general! There's nine guys and you've got like 50. 60 even. And I've still got support from my cannons if I can actually get them firing. The rain has let up a bit, thankfully. They're exhausted, come on. And we killed them. Or the general, thank God. Will that win us the day, though? Well, they're eager now. Instead of confidence. I actually don't know if that's better. Okay, they're finally starting to waver. Down 16 men. But I think losing the journal is a... Actually, I don't want to sacrifice my dragoons up uh, like that. So come round and take down the firelock on Sisamri. God! This battle is taking a while. But it is quite a major battle. The Battle of Drenched Coats will live on. Is there any like major targets I need to take down? It's just the guards here. And they're way too close. It's like danger close to my own infantry, which is way more populous than theirs. We have taken down most of the army. There's actually their cannons right there. Uh, go get them. Both of you go get them. So I can safely say these cannons were, if nothing else, uh, dealed significant damage to the enemy. 
Hell, I think the armor that's coming in will probably be able to deal with uh, the, this, if this army fails. Oh god, that was a bit too close to my own man, thanks. Anyway, that's the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. And in the next part, we will see the conclusion of the Battle of Drenched Coats. So, see you then.